Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we're playing CrossCode. Alright, so last time uh, we got stuck in this place, did a couple of quests, Leah had an existential crisis, turns out we're a duplicate of someone else, or something like that. Anyway. Now it is the time for us to get out of here. Sneak through the north exit, the northeast exit of Vermilion Wasteland East Town to approach a tower. Now, um, our buddy Schneider here did warn us that we're probably not going to be here again. Which, I mean, is perfectly fine. I'm pretty sure I've gotten all of the chests that I'm going to get. I guess I'm gonna have to go up here. Yeah, we took this secret way before. Ah, here we go. Alright, now we just have to get through there, undetected. There's supposedly a door up there that we can enter. Let's go separately. It's probably easier to stay hidden that way. Wait! Huh? You want to go ahead? Hmm, good thinking. They're rather small, so you, they'll have a hard time spotting you. <laughs> All right then, you go ahead. I've got your back. Ah, uh, more stealth sections. Always a fun time, by which I mean never a fun time. I hate these. Ah. Well. Yeah, at least it's a quick recovery. But it's still annoying. What? really sure what you want of me here, game. Do I actually have to do this? Looks like it is. Ugh. And this is not the last time we'll have to do stealth either. Ah. How do I have enough time to get through here? Or do I just go into the door? I probably just go into the door, don't I? I am a dingus. Oh, come on. Okay, Jewel, you, you, can, you can count the times that I get caught, but you can skip on the ha-ha-ha. Yes, I, I, I realize the reference that you're making. You can skip on the ha. Ooh, that was close. So many of them out there. Well then, let's take that elevator. There's supposedly more girls down here. Get on your toes. Uh, what? 
We can't go this way. Yeah, I didn't say anything. Freaking Google Home thinks I'm talking to it. What are you expecting from me here, game? Is there something here? No. That's obviously not it. And there is no in between. But yes, you you are allowed to count how many times. If you want to, just I I didn't really appreciate the ha ha ha. Oh. Okay. You're right. Actually. Ah. Come on, Leah. Ah. Uh. I get that box. I just like this. some pepper night tea. This is the only way, isn't it? Maybe there's something in this room. Oh no. I totally saw that one coming. Now there are six of them. Well, there there are two of the uh, the super powered ones. Thank <laughs> you. 
go down here a little bit. Okay. Oh geez, that's a lot of them. That was cool. Off that exit opened up now. I think it did. I think we can turn off our element. All right, another elevator. An another elevator. Let's hope that one goes up again. Good. Wait, we're back at the entrance. Maybe we can find the route walking over these roofs here. Keeping in mind, of course, that they can still see us up here. For the most part. Looks like there's nothing up here. Okay, these things are getting closer. How do I hit that? But not like that. It seems to me like by the time I hit the ground, I will have. Uh... Okay, so now we know what that does, at least. Still not sure how I'm supposed to get that. I guess like that. Ooh. All right. What's next? Well, not that. Okay, and that stays down. Get back up here. We got through. You still think who's a fake, Joel? Oh, we did it, didn't we? Okay, let's see if we can access the power from here. It's entirely empty. It's a strange way to prioritize security. 
Well then, nothing's stopping us here. Let's enter that tower. Yeah, and that's just going right into the guards. So this is it. Oh, that's his screen name. I don't remember his real name. Hmm. I gotta be honest, I'm having a bad feeling about this. Why? When you manage to get past all those guards. Doesn't it feel almost intentional? Like they wanted us to get through here? Well, it's not like we have any other option, right? Alright then, let's enter and see what happens. <laughs> Why? How? Why? Yeah, please calm down. This the interior of the tower is instanced. That is why Lucas is not here. It is like a dungeon. Don't worry, I have a plan. Things go well, I can get you both out of this. We will just have to break a few rules and walls. Walls? I need a bit of uh, time to prepare things. I have to reach Lucas somehow. Meanwhile, I need you to move to, to the next room to the north. I realize that I'm absolutely not doing the accent anymore. The accents are hard, man. Okay, so... Well, that's not it. Uh, doing mild accents for, for everyone. There we go. Uh, well, how does this work? Ow! on me. That was on me. Alright, this looks good. Next you'll need to move to towards the west. Why? Just trust me on this for now. Oh. a little hard to trust Sergei after, you know, he lied to us about being in a coma. And it's not like we have any other options right now. Okay, you're at the right position now, Leo. I just need a little, a little bit longer to manage things on my side. Meanwhile, you can take care of the enemies in this room. Ed?
I? Just a moment, please. Perfect. We are very lucky. We got Lucas just at the right position and he seems to be waiting for us. Now we will just have to meet up with him. By breaking through the dungeon room into instantly. Hey, excuse me? Just follow my instructions. I will now spawn an exit point. Now try interacting with the symbol. Take off. Ow. Whoops. Why? Sorry, I must have made a little mistake there. Let me go over the parameters again. Okay, I think I got it. Please try again. Okay, let's hope we don't immediately prat fall again. Um, oh, right, forgot about that thing. Sorry, Leo, we need one more attempt. In my defense, this whole routine is pretty ex experimental. Hmm. Okay, this should do it. Hopefully. Good thing there's no fall damage in this game. I mean, we still hit the floor, but um, that was exciting. It worked? Well, oh, sort of. But yeah, we just jumped to another room instance. Dungeon instances, they work on a room by room basis. Now room instances are placed within a massive compound. What we will do, what we will do is jump between those instances until we reach the room Lucas has in. And then escape this compound itself. As strange as it sounds, it is our best chance to get out of this place. Okay, let me see. The next exit point should be here. Yes, it has to be on that side of the room. Sorry. From the looks of it, you should be able to reach that point. What are you looking for here? Okay. Something similar to that. Just do this. Okay, well that's not quite what I was looking for. Ah, that works. the wrong elements. There we go.
Nice landing. The next exit is down over there. You can just ignore the puzzle. It's your own. Not like we can do that puzzle anyway. Oh, well, we should take care of those first. So they might mess up with uh, this extremely experimental thing that we're doing. The fewer variables there are, the better. I did want both of them to hit that. Wait, Leia. The sun will exit through the wall to the east. Oops. Why? Sorry, I forgot to fix the routine for sideways jump. Ow. Anyway, it should work now. Oops. Please try again. You gotta admit, though, this is kinda rad. Alright, that worked. Okay, we're next again. Help me. Please. Help me. Hi? What the heck is this? There you are. This was certainly not meant to be seen by the likes of you. In this tower, you shall abide by the constraints laid in front of you. Now break th not break through the walls as you please. We won't tolerate behavior like this. Your little journey will end now. Shoot. Found out sooner than I hoped. Yeah, you must not be caught up in one of his battles. We have to escape. Run to the next symbol as fast as possible. So this is the um, the escape part. Go to the east. Oh jeez! Damn it! Well, okay. At least this time I am better prepared to know what I'm looking for. Further to the east, you need to reach the wall. That's not it. But what do I need to do? <laughs> Don't shoot twice, Leah. Ow. Get out of here. Yeah, they're level 60, so, um, almost there, to the east. Now that was quite predictable. We have a good idea of where you are heading. Focus, he's in a room to the east. We, need, we have to reach that wall. Now we can't have you meet up with your friend. This place is designed for one individual at a time, after all. 
If your hopes are to escape this place, your journey is best to fail. An exit does not exist. That's what he thinks anyway. I will get you out of here, trust me. Watching you toiling through this complex it is quite entertaining to say the least. Its resourcefulness is unlike anything we have witnessed so far. Hence, we shall honor it with an appropriate climax. It shall be your final challenge. Let's see if you can overcome the nigh impossible. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, whatever happens, don't give up. We have to get through this. What level is it? It's level 38. Like, not taking any damage. Yeah, it is barely taking any damage at all. Like, never mind that it's level 38. It's just not working. This enemy, its maximum of HP is ridiculously high. Trillion? Quadrillion? I'm not even sure how, you, how to say this number. However, it is not infinite. It means it is possible to defeat it. There's just one thing we have to do. Adjust your attack appropriately. I just figured out a way to do that within security constraints. Focus on, be on defeating the burning slug enemies before they explode. As many as possible. But basically what's gonna happen here is we send that uh, we we uh, attack these uh, slug jerks here. Once again you have a little trick up your sleeves. Oh, that's little bit of drop in the ocean. Yeah, just keep going. As you can see, we're doing a substantial amount of damage. That's still not enough. Is it really overpowered if the uh, enemy that we're fighting is substantially more overpowered? Still not enough. That HP bar is not moving. I don't think we got a buff at all. Ow, ow, ow. Stop that. I think I might have been killing some of them a little too fast. Attached. 
Oh, they're exploding is the problem. Okay, new tactic, new tactic, throw. There we go. We see where this is going, but we won't let you have your way that easily. Nah, how long can you keep up with this? Yeah, keep dodging. I got this. I'm almost there, just a bit longer. And go! Quick, to the marker! to demonstrate exponential growth. Oh, look at it. <laughs> look at the big numbers. Numbers go up. No way. We still need them, but uh, okay. Yeah, we're not even getting. The night possible about to be overcome. This is too rich! Now we are quickly! Leah! Did you just break through that wall? Okay. Well, somebody told me to wait here for you. I think. Leah, wait here. Leah's on her way. Yeah, I think the message got across. How did you even get here, though? I thought this place is instant. Leah, we must hurry. Both of you need to take the next exit point. It'll be your last jump. What's that sign over there? Shall we go there? Okay. Wait, what? What? What is this? Did we just literally, literally break the fourth wall or something? Kind of. Leah, yeah, there is no time. Quick, take the elevator. Elevator. Oh, all right. Where are we? Is this still even the playground? Yeah, please hurry. Run towards the sea. Somebody will pick you up. This way? Are you sure? Leah. Leah, I can't move. Why? No matter what I could do, I just can't move. Why? Is some bug or something? Why? Leah, yeah, please, this won't go anywhere. Somebody must know their way around here. Makes us wonder who exactly is leading the way. Unless this is as far as you'll be going. Your friend is now under our full control. We disabled his movement. He can be located he can be relocated at will, shall it be required. Why? Leave us no choice. 
His very fate rests in our hands. His well-being is of your concern. Would you wise to obey and stop this escape at once? Why? Leah. Get away already! There's no point in waiting for me! Run! Leah. There's nothing I can do about Lucas. I'm sorry. We have to escape on our own. It is our only option left. Why? Run already! Go! Stop right there! You keep pursuing this fruitless endeavor. There is no escape from this place. Not for average house like you. We'll see about that! Still not very explosion proof, I see. I'm here to fetch the last. No, not you again. Why'd you wrap her up in a blanket? She's an avatar. She couldn't feel cold or anything like that. She just looks like she needed this, alright? Stop nagging. Leah, my girl, you're back! Hey. Poor thing. Lucky, like you've been going through hell. You too. I'm about to talk to the last in private. I got him. It's okay. You've got some insane to do. What in the bloody hell has been going on with you two? Ended up in that place and all. Yes, it's about time I tell you everything I know. At first. Let me apologize to you, Leah. I deceived you, telling this lie about yourself and your past. I just thought it would be for the best. But in all honesty, in all honesty I did not know what to do. Why? Is that because of what you are? She's got... she was right. You're an artificial intelligence. More precisely, you are what Satoshi would like to call an Ibotar. Let me start from the beginning. It all started several years ago. At a time when we were still all employed by Instantainment. Satoshi. He was one of the head software engineers for Crossworld. He was responsible for implementing the Avatar control module. You see, since avatars are controlled with a mere thought, this part was one of the, uh, this part was one of the more the most complex and difficult to get right. It, yet, Satoshi, yet Satoshi, he succeeded in creating a reliable connection. He developed a neural network analyzing the player's neural oscillation. After just a short learning phase, it allowed for controlling your avatar like it was your own body. There's a technological masterpiece called the Crosscode. Oh, title drop! After some time, though, Satoshi discovered something new. The Crosscode went beyond uh, just analyzing players' thoughts to, to control avatars. Using the same neural network as a foundation, it was possible to entirely simulate features of, of the brain. Perception, logical thinking, emotions, deep memories. Before you knew it, the crosscode evolved into a fully fledged AI. And it could run without an avatar, without the player. It could run an avatar without the player, so called Evotar. So, yes, this is what you are, Leah, an Evotar based on Shiska. Your personality memories are a copy of hers. That is also why I did not want to tell you the truth. Back in the day, Satoshi discovered that Iwatars had problems handling the truth about themselves. You had the memories of your, your human self, and then to discover the fact that you the and then to discover that you are in fact an AI. It is a, a massive emotional so shock to the system that, that the system usually could not handle, leading to permanent malfunction. Fortunately, that did not happen to you. 
means you accepted the truth. Again, I'm sorry for all of this. Things might have been easier if I told you right away, or it could have led to an, it could have been an early end to everything. I just could not know what would happen, so I tried to be careful to minimize the risk. So wait, did you actually tell her a coma story? Yes. Seriously? I told I told you that wouldn't be too dramatic. It was the most logical option, though. Really now? Yeah, I understand that, right, Sergei? There are these evil tiles and crossworlds. They copy the personality and memories of, play of the players. That is the other th the other thing. There really should not be any evil tiles and crossworlds at all. Satoshi was very excited by his discovery. He pitched his findings to the higher ups, hoping to find to develop a uh, fully autonomous AI based on the crosscode. However, Entertainment was far less enthusiastic about it. Their priorities were clear, it was only about controlling avatars. Any additional functionality, especially the copying, of, the copying of memories, was unwanted. They immediately blocked any effort go going into developing avatars. Satoshi, he was deeply frustrated about this. Soon afterwards, Satoshi, Shisuka, and Gotham, all three of them, left the company. All I know is they found someone that supported their continued research on Evotars. They even wanted me to join them, but I declined. The whole endeavor seemed very risky to me. Anyway, it was not long afterwards that I entirely lost contact with them. I had not heard from them from year for years. It was until recently, when I discovered Leah in within the game's database. And that is how the whole thing started. I took some time off from work and logged Leah into the game, looking for answers. I know as much. So how'd you end up in this in that place? Well, that is where things started to become strange. We were pulled into an area that was not supposed that was not supposed to be part of the official playground, Vermilion Wasteland. Gotham and Shizuka, they were both there. And then there was that person that then there was this masked person we saw on the last day. But Satoshi, there was nowhere to be found. We were close, really close to the answers. We could not see we could not afford to stay there. It was too dangerous. How come? Somebody with administrative active access to that area was tracking my connection. They tried to locate me. I almost succeeded. I just barely escaped and escaped it by minimizing connection with Leah over the last few days. In the end, we just had to escape. I see. Hmm. I mean, it really is a lot to take in, you know? How about we take a little break? Leah, maybe a little stroll around the ship will help you loosen up a bit. Surely that's no problem, right, Cap? I sure don't like that. I sure don't like you to sign that by yourself. The show's all right. Great. And how about you show Leah around a bit? Why am I now? Please, I just, uh, I just like to have a little word with Sergey for a moment. Fine. Follow me, lass. Carla, is something the matter? Mister, I got a question for you. Something the poor girl is probably worrying about. Yes. Once you find Satoshi and everything's been cleared up, what will happen to her? And Kala, me a, ordering me a, around like that. I gotta remind her who's in charge of the ship sometime. Uh, see, they, you seem to be in really low spirits. But I really have no time for strolling around right now. Uh, Captain? You mind if I borrow Miss Avatar for a moment? That would be perfect. Please keep the last busy. Nice. Please come please come this way, Miss Avatar. This is great. I never expected you to see you on the ship again, Miss Avatar. Leah. Huh? You want me to call you by your first name? Uh, sure. 
Anyway, I'll go ahead and get everyone together. Just meet me outside, down on the deck. And then we can do the experiment. Uh, what? That guy again. Ah, uh, what experiment? I'm worried. Can I, like, jump down? Looks like no. Alright, let's go down to the deck. Also, I forgot to open the clock again. Just realizing that now. There we go. Hey. Thanks for coming, Miss Ev I mean, Leo. Hello, so the pseudo robot has actually returned. Mm -hmm. Please stop calling her that. She's an actual person with a name. Leah. Alright then, Leah. My colleague and I had a little discussion over how well instant matter based avatars can handle water. To my knowledge, instant matter easily evaporates when in contact with water. That's why swimming was never an option with the technology. But he claims that it can actually withstand decent amounts of water. Right. Lee was totally fine when it started raining last time she was here, I saw myself. Well, a bit of rain, maybe, but let's see how she handles slightly larger amounts of water. How? Quite simple. Please stand at this point here for a moment. Why? No worries, you'll see. Alright, we're ready. Okay, that, what is this, Nickelodeon? Sorry, they talked me into it. I... Sorry, Leah. But you see, she did not eva uh, evaporate. Hmm. I, had to, I have to admit, I didn't expect this. Well, that was just a small bucket. Now let's try the larger one. What? Please, just one more time. Do it for the science! Alright, second bucket. That was too much. Yeah, <laughs> see? It couldn't handle that amount. Alright, I see. But you know, it could just be a, gener a generous safety measure in case avatars actually jump into water. Maybe they can potentially take in even more water than that. That may be, but we can't test this now, can we? That's true. Anyway, my point stands that instant matter avatars are just way too fragile for most serious applications. Well, not all applications require high water resistance. Or just that. Did you even try to lift her? What? I never dared to do that. I sort of expected that. That's why I invited someone to help us out. Hey, Isabel, could you come over here for a second? Hello. Hi. Oh, who's that? Leah. Hey, Leah. I like your horns. <laughs> well, at, at least she's being honest. Yeah, she's another guest on the ship currently. So why would you have her involved? To show you how ridiculously light instant matter is. Isabel, would you be so kind and lift the young lady for us? What? Can I do that? Of course you can. Show us how strong you are. Okay. Hi? Whoa. Leah's so light. Wait. Oh boy, I wasn't aware of that. An avatar should weigh an average of about 5 to 10 kilograms at most. Instant matter, instant matter is extremely light and fragile. It's a trade off for being quickly constructed. Leah, hi, Leah, bit from white. Leah, hi, Leah, wait, bye, why? He's getting heavy now. Okay, you can put her down now. I want to throw her. Why? Sure, show us some muscle. And go! Awesome! Wow! Again! Wait! So, you see? Super light, low water resistance, and believe me, any kind of real impact on the brakes then. Alright, I see what you mean. 
though, Instant Matter does have its applications outside of games, doesn't it? Wait! Why? Of course it has applications. But it will never replace good hard machinery and architecture. You can't build a house with Instant Matter and expect to live, with, to live in it. It will break down easily. <laughs> Again! Wait! It works for Crosswords because everything running on the play uh, around the playground is based on instant matter or virtual. Like a theme park made out of styrofoam. I see. Ah, I'm beat. Yeah, you run in fast. Oh, so either Leah's player is in quite good shape or avatars are not bound to the player's stamina. It's the latter. You can run around for as long as you want and won't get tired. Anyway, thanks a lot for everything, Leah. And sorry for all the water and throwing. Mm -hmm. Ah, please don't hate me. Just wanted to show how awesome to show them how awesome avatars are. Nice work, then. You really showed them. Uh, was it really that bad for you? Well, I'm relieved. It was fun. I want to throw Lee again. <laughs> Come on, give her a little rest, okay? Come in, okay. See you later. Hey, Leah. I see you're having fun with the, with the crew. We'll soon start preparing things to get you back into the playground. It will take a bit of time, though. It's probably a good idea for you to log off in the meantime. Before that, though, there is something we should talk about. Since you know the truth about yourself, you're probably feeling a great deal of uncertainty, correct? In particular, about your future. I... I do not want to give you any false hope. Your current situation is problematic. The only place for Ivatars to exist is within Crossworlds, without official permission. And this will only last as long as we can keep its secret from its attainment. This is something we have to change, Leo. This is our goal. To create a proper place for Ivatars. When where you do where when where you do not have to do hide your identity. One might say a new home. Satoshi. He always envisioned a place like that, even back then. Finding him is just the first step towards our goal. With his help, we might find a way to get there. Well then, should we call it a day? Good night, Leah. Bye! Why did this happen? She had... assistance. Somebody interfered at the environment server. That was bound to happen. The owls are still highly stacked against them. This is like a cargo ship all over again. Gotham, you need to stop playing around. Understood. And now continue with the, interrog the interrogation. Orion's schedule. What was that about? That wasn't even the dream. This is the dream. There we go. Nightmares of my flat. It's just bound to happen. Come on, let's run away. Leah. Leah. Please, run away. There's no point waiting for me. Good morning, Leah. Hi. I hope you rest well. Any new memories? Uh, no, that wasn't really a memory. That was just a nightmare. I see. Well then, preparations to get to get preparations to go back to the official playground are all finished. 
We still have to leave using the teleporter down in, in the cargo hold. Remember the one where we started? Probably should be waiting there for you. Also, I did a few more preparations on my side. No. Oh. Well, I moved locations again. Why? Just making sure nobody will be able to locate me. I did the same after you completed the Fire Temple. That was why we had to stay offline for a while longer, remember? Anyway, things are less critical since we since we are out of Vermilion Wasteland. But again, they most likely still have ways to track us in the official playground. Otherwise, they could not have dragged us out of the raid like that. I wonder how, how exactly they managed to do that. Maybe they can read the traces we leave on the game servers. Maybe it is very simple with somebody watching us in-game. Well, that is all speculation at this point. But we should be careful and watch our surroundings, okay? Anyway, onwards to the teleporter. Ooh, that was a lot of exposition again. But finally we can go rejoin our friends! Oh! One moment, let me add a little shortcut for you. It'll take you right to the teleporter where Carla, Carla is waiting. Ow. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure what have held back when you had to run through the whole the whole cargo hold, correct? Unfortunately, I did not have the routine to spawn these shortcuts ready back then. I mean, I guess. Surprise! I managed to add a proper landmark on the con on the cargo ship. That means from now on you can travel back to the cargo hold whenever you like. But better not try to drag along any other party. You're the, you're the only player that can enter this place. I mean, that makes sense. Hey there, girl! Hi! You look pretty well rested. So Sergei talked things through with you. Yep. Not time, really. Just so you know, y'all, you have all our support. If you ever need a break from that pl busy playground, feel free to drop by. Well then, let's get you back up among the, all those other players. You stand in the middle of the teleporter. Everything ready. Good luck over there, girl. Bye. And we're back in Cross Central. Here we are. We should be able to travel to all landmarks within the playground again. Also, direct lanes should work again. It's probably a good idea to say hello to your friends again. We have been missing for quite some time. Well, it looks like they beat me to the punch. Hi! Bonjour. So, suddenly you're back. It has been, what, a week? We oui, last for words, as always. Meet me at the guild hub headquarters. I want to talk to you in person. She seems displeased. Oh, she seemed angry. Why? Well, you disappeared in the middle of a raid, remember? Remember? Yeah. It's probably a good idea to talk to, talk to her soon. Uh, can we take a break and not talk to her yet? No. It's only 10-12. So, can't really... Can't really cliffhanger it there, there. Also, I am good at words. Alright, let's go face the music. Not that way. Hi. Bonjour. So. What happened? All I know is that you just left, in the middle of the raid. 
We had to cancel the whole thing. We had such a good run. Then you've been missing for a whole week. Well, sort of. You've been still listed as online, but I couldn't contact you. Why? That's what I want to know. Someone told uh, someone told me that you had, you might have blocked us from contacting you. Then what was it? Please, you have to tell me. How? We don't know. Just somehow. There are so many things I don't know about you. I can't even properly ask you. So frustrating. Hello. I guess all that's left is asking lots of questions. Why did you drop out of the raid? Was it a bug? Then what? Did you cancel the raid on purpose? Then what else is there? What the hell? Leah, you're back! We she just showed up today. I'm currently trying to find out what exactly happened. Well, that would be hard for that would be hard to figure out with her speech limitation. I know I'll just poke her with questions until I get a good picture. That sounds troublesome. Yeah, where are you going? Um, uh, Leah. What is everything all right? What well, what are you doing? Just what exactly happened to you after you left the raid? Why? Sacre bleu. What is wrong with you? Why? How? Oh, what was that? It came out of nowhere. I don't believe this. Has she gone crazy or something? And yeah. What a surprise. Evo Tara Lucas unlocked. But yeah, that Lucas, he does not remember what happened, correct? I... I kind of suspected as much. Sorry, I should have talked to you about, with you about it. That Lucas you, you met in Vermilion Wasteland, it was most likely another Evotar. In fact, I suspect that that was the case for all players we saw back there. You... Not want to go back to them? I see. The situation is rather complicated, but I'm sure they still mean well with you. Maybe give it a bit of time. I'm sure you'll be able to reconcile eventually. I suppose we should go to Guy's Garden next? That is the next major area, north of Autumn's Fall. Our goal is still to reach Sapphire Ridge, correct? I mean, they should try to extend your vocabulary at least a bit more. It would be difficult, but I know a few words that might help in situations like this. I'll get on that while you make your way through Guy's Garden, alright? Also, why are we not in Goss? Why are we half in costume? That's weird. Anyway. So Toby's offline, Emily's not talking to us, and we can't team up with anyone else because they're subs- Well, I mean... Okay, so she hasn't actually leveled up. So what have you, what have you guys been doing over the past week? You're still, like, level 36. I mean, I kind of hinted at it, because, yeah, I've played this game before, so I knew. But, uh, Schneider level 60, Schneider level 56, hmm, I wonder what happened there. Anyway, nothing for it, let's just go to Guy's Garden, I guess. Actually, one thing that I kind of want to do first is, can we go over here? It's unfortunate, it's unfortunate that we're doing this exploration on our own, but 
You know, things are as they are right now. Okay. Let's go exploring over here. We didn't really get the chance to do so previously. Well, we did take the opportunity to do so, so how should have worked that. I think we could have. what I figure. I am not entirely sure. Yeah, anyway, let's keep looking. Hmm. Might have to come in from another map as well. Um, analyze another plant. It's kind of nice to just kind of explore and decompress after all of that. Even if it is by ourselves. What does this lead to? Oh, we're in Autumn's Rise. Interesting. Figure out where I can climb, though. Ah, here we go. What level are these? 34. Kind of beneath our level right now. Don't need to worry about them. Ah. Should be able to make that. Yep. Dang it. All this precarious running around. There we go. We have a sweet berry tea. Unfortunately, that's all we have access to. Let's see if we can get anywhere else from up there. Well, we'd be able to get that chest, but unfortunately it is, um... A bit locked. Hmm. 
Gotta be some. Dang it. Gotta be somewhere else we can get to. sure how to get over there. Okay, well, no worries. Now this reset itself because we left the room. Now how do we get up there? Waterway, either. Waterway to go. I was trying to follow a path, but it turns out I was following it in the wrong direction. I'm jumping across these. I suspect this might just not be possible right now. We might need something else. Can we get that? We may be able to get that one. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't remember anything about the uh, any jumping puzzles in WoW. It's been way too long. Oh, got close enough to activate the shade there, so gonna be heading there in probably the next couple of minutes if I can't figure out how to get up here. And uh, not gonna worry about it. Let's just go to guy to a guy's garden. Guy's garden. Most of new enemies I fear. Funny enough, though, no bugs. You see, Emily will probably be fine by herself. Sorry, I should not have said that. Oh, an entrance. And a bunch of new plants for us to destroy. Blue Haze Ferramancer! We finally meet again! Leah... Right. It's Ferramancer Leah. I see you've reached... Uh, you finally reached Guy's Garden. That means that we now both possess the cold and heat element. 
In other words, it is due time. Experiment, Sir Leah. I challenge you to our third duel. Do you accept? Do you... Uh, I mean... Perfect. I'll be waiting over at the open field down there. That guy again. Don't tell me he has been on stake out here all this time. Um, well, dang it. I wonder if it says what level he is. Now. Interesting how it calls him an event, though. Well, it should just say Apollo, not Event Apollo. I see you're prepared. Are you ready for the duel? Alright then, let's go! Hey. No, oh, I see. Having, your, having business with your girl again? Jorn, you just arrived in time for, for some glorious experiments or action. We're about to start a third duel. Oh, whoop to you. Then we want to start exploring Guy's Garden today? Yes, right after the duel. It won't take that long. Fine, we'll need cheering from the side then. By the way, Leah, all by yourself today? Let's see. Well then, let's start. PvP activate! Today we cross paths for a third time, both of us possessing heat and cold. Once again, it is time for me, Apollo, to lead you along the right path. The path of a proper Sphere The path of justice! Let the duel begin! Well done. Now let's cool down again. The temperature puns are still not funny. Ah, uh, dang it! Ah! Uh, was that really all? Really? Come on, Leah. Don't give up. What? He said he was gonna cheer. He didn't say. He didn't say for who. Ah! You still have much to learn. Yeah. No kidding. Alright, let's try something else. Time to end this. Oh, really? Perfect fucking guard of that? No. Things are getting serious now. Seems you're still not quite on the right path, Sparamancer Leo. Still, it was a good duel. Bye. 
Hey, Leah, is everything alright with you? You're all by yourself, and honestly, you don't look that happy to me. Hmm. She doesn't really talk much, does she? Doesn't really talk much, does she? Yeah, she is fairly shy. Eh, is she now? Leah, can you say Apollo for me? You can't say it, can you? Well, do you have issues with your with your speech module? All the time? How is it even still a thing these days? Poor little thing. Well, here's an idea, Leah. Since you're by yourself, you want to explore the jungle together with us? What? Why? What are you saying, Jordan? Pauline, just look at her. She seems so miserable being uh, being alone like this. Don't you feel sorry for her? Oh, well, kind of. But I don't mind. Jo I don't mind her joining us if you're fine with it, Jordan. Well then. What do you say, Leah? Shall we travel together? Good. Let's create a party then. What is even happening? Shouldn't you be happy? We have a party with two Sphericers now. All right. Now that you mention it, two Sphericers and a Quadrard. Quite the noble party indeed. There you go. So what's next? Let's see. Our noble man has just entered the realm of Guy's Garden. Indeed, what, what else is there to do than seek the human settlement hidden within this wilderness? Basin Keep! The towering fortress of the jungle. That shall be a, our destination. I see. Let's go, Leah. Well, looks like we made some unlikely allies. Well, 37. Not too bad. Come on. Hit that one. There we go. Okay, I guess I gotta just run over there. The unlawful papagon are aims at us. Agile and heavily armed. I guess I should probably try to climb up and get him that way. And then it drops down, sure. So we have parrots in the jungle. Neat. Indeed, gun wielding parrots that are up to no good. See this, Polly? This is what happens when you forget to, to water your plant. So, a city in the middle of the jungle. Yes, and a giant of the city at that. Ooh. Indeed, human ingenuity shaped the hot, this hot of civilization in this hostile environment. Let's see it. The Emperor Challenge Day. Always up for a challenge. Oh, jeez. The cutting shock at attacks. Careful, close contact leads to a shocking demise. Yeah, and he's not kidding. Do we really have to fight the poor kittens? I feel so sorry for them. Joran, jo don't be swayed by their cute appearance. They're fierce opponents. But they just want to have them cuddles. Yeah, unfortunately, they're electric cuddles that are going to kill us. Like, they're, they're, ba they're basically Pikachu and Feline form. They've taken out Joram, so... The Furious Arguby enters the battlefield. Careful, it can easily... It can instantly switch locations. Gonna go ahead and uh you seem to be in the flow of the trails for Vince or Leah. Cancel combat, because our uh lots of dead trees here. Right there is at work? I believe those trees merely died of old age. 
humankind quickly learned that lumbering this forest will lead will lead to fierce counter reactions of the track. Scary. And yes, they will even hurt us outside of combat. Oh god. No. Like, I would love to cuddle a kitten, but not if it's going to electrocute me. Uh, can I go anywhere from here? I don't think I can. We jumped off. Looks like we're gonna have to go all the way around again. They remind me of this one enemy from um, from uh, Maple Story. It's basically this like adorable little thing. And when you kill it, it just kinda goes mm -hmm. like oh. but do, do do we have to fight these things? I don't wanna fight these things, they're adorable. This way. And we had prizes. Six cups of coffee. Also, I have platform access to this area. Will I give us anything? See anywhere else to go from here. Ah, I guess we can go here. Okay, so this is just open then. We can also go for a swim if we really want to. We can't actually go for a swim. Uh, forbidden to log this to humans. Interesting. That's okay, I'm a robot. Dang it. I'm just gonna take your treasure then. Two plain cubes. This place does not seem very friendly to seekers. Two metal down. How many to go? <laughs> anything? 
Why are people messaging me while I'm streaming? Human. I mean no harm, but leave the shot alone. We broke trust and now my people want war. Yeah, but, but what? Okay, what did we do? How did we break things this time? This place is neat. These Shaz are experts in wooden constructions. Even with fierce weather of the jungle, these bridges are set to remain stable for many years. Amazing. Well, we got a landmark. So despite that no one wants anything to do with us, we can come back here anytime. What is this? do anything if I uh, shoot at it. Yeah, I, I realize I missed the story trigger. Right now we're just kind of exploring. You know how I am. Explore! There's another one of these things. Hmm. I wonder what happens if I touch it. I wonder what happens if I touch water. Ow. Are you firing melons at us? Stop knocking into the water. More parrots. I think I will call them Pog. What? Why? Well, that didn't go well. Oh, come on. Why are they still affected? Yeah, I'd rather just not deal with these kittens right now. Especially not, like, a lot of them at once. Alright, so we found our high platform access. Where will this take us? Hmm. Okay, we wouldn't be able to hit that one anyway. We would be able to hit that one, but... Right now, nothing doing. Those don't do anything. Oh dear. Aha. Uh -huh. Those seem problematic. 
I don't need I wouldn't even need to, to check what level they are. Across here. Oh, that's not impossible, Jewel. Oh, we don't have anything like that. A vivid puff plant. I mean, come on, Jewel. Surely nothing like that exists. That'd be too easy. Some steel comb. That's not. That's not honey. I mean, meow too. No, no bees inside. No other letters either. No Q's. No F's. Oh, no, it's raining again. Yes, rain is also coming for this plant. Too bad I'm losing a friend. Never mind. The... what? Are you okay there, Jorn? get across here. Even if those green things are hookshot points, there wasn't one there. The chill portion of the stream are just destroy the shrubbery and get electrocuted by cats. You know, the usual. Break up the monotony a bit. We can probably fight with one of them. One of them is fine. What's over here? This reminds me, we still have to feed the cats later. Feed the cats? What do you mean? You can't feed the show cats. Our cats, Polly. Oh, right. This place looks different. 
That's right. We are within the, the infested jungle. A mysterious disease has, has befallen this part of the forest. So it looks like um, Apollo and Jorn here are cohabiting. And so many electro cats. I can't walk on that now. Hmm. The mighty Behisloth approaches slow but deadly. You call that slow? It just did a spin dash. See why they can't just relax for a while. That thing thing is strong. You're all right, Joel. Oops. Well, I found another landmark. So many giant mushrooms in this area. You think those are edible? It's safer to assume they're not. Yeah. Looks like Leah shares my sentiment on mushrooms. I really don't care for them. Anyway. We found a new landmark. And I think that's a good place to call this a path. So. Um, we're going to take a break. About 10-15 minutes, as usual. And we, when we come back, we shall continue our exploration of the of uh, Gaia's garden. So stick around. <laughs> 